and Mr. Davis, just to expand on the provision that you and Mr. Levin are uh, co-sponsoring together from your perch as the subcommittee chairman here on the Ways and Means Committee, what have you seen in terms of the benefit of, of that extender that you've co-sponsored? Well, the food donation uh, uh, credit is of great benefit because uh, much uh, food waste that happens in businesses can be handed off to, uh, frankly, offset what could be an additional uh, uh, incursion of taxpayer expense. Uh, there's a, a, a ready pool of, of uh, willing providers, uh, both in distribution networks uh, and also uh, uh, from restaurants to get that food out to homeless shelters, uh, a number of other vendors, uh, uh, soup kitchens, et cetera, uh, that can make a real difference in people's lives, especially in that uh, urgency uh, of transition. And, and food that may otherwise not be be provided to shelters? Uh, that's correct. It would, in all likelihood, just be scrapped. And uh, uh, oftentimes I've been asked the question, well, why wouldn't the companies just take it down there anyway, but within their own operating rules and, ironically, uh, uh, other regulations that would impinge on that, uh, there's a cost of transportation. Uh, there are other liabilities that are incurred, and by having the credit can offset not only the, uh, uh, the base material cost, but also the uh, transportation and overhead that's necessary to get it to the location, particularly uh, when it's in bulk.